Let's go back to, I believe it was, what's that, Black Sand it was? Yeah, Black Sand. How did that start? How did that go about? I mean, Black Sand, it was really like, I mean, we started surfing in the pandemic, so we pandemic mm. surfers for whatever that's worth. Oh, but, you, guys, um, you guys are new new at this. Yeah, I've been surfing a year and 10 months. Yeah. Wow. But we move with years. strength, you know what I mean? So yeah. that's that's why it's had as much of an impact as it's right. had. But, uh, yeah. And real intention. But Black mm. Sand was started just because... I just randomly was like, oh, I want to start surfing. And I just started surfing. I like was like on my Instagram, like, who got a board I can borrow? Mm. And then I just borrowed the homie board, blah, 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 went out. And then I was like, once I started going out, I was like, wait, I feel Don't like. just blah, blah, blah. I think, no, it was blah, blah, blah. Like, we was just <laughs> showing up. We was surfing. Yeah, like, yeah, I, don't, I didn't know how to surf. I didn't have anybody right. who showed me how to do right. it. I didn't have no previous in right. on the culture or anything. I was just like showing up, you know, like clueless, basically. Right. So, but then through doing that and going to surf in like Manhattan Beach, you like, dang, I'm definitely the only black person out here. So right. that, I feel like that was like the problem. And then the solution was like finding other people. So like he hit me up on Instagram mm. and was just like seeing me on my story because this full lot a other super story. Fan. I'm a very big super fan. <laughs> yeah. I've been following Brick since like he had an Instagram. Like 2015. Yeah. Messaging his ass like, yo, look at my pictures, bro. Like, yeah. You're such a dope <laughs> photographer, bro. Look at my pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I just gotta, He's a photographer. He's a photographer. Oh, okay, because I'm like, pause. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Real quick. Hold on, man. This thing just took a shift, man. It's turning a bit. Hey, look at my pictures, bro. Hey, yeah, look at my pictures. What? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I didn't, I didn't even think about that. That was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> He's a bit talking to disclaimer. I couldn't let that slide. I know you, you know what? That was slide. 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 What are we, five minutes in? I shut my ass up. Bro. Bro. Uh, but to go back to, I believe you were talking about Manhattan Pier. Yeah, right? Manhattan Beach Pier. There was an incident. Yeah, 100%. So, so like I said, when me and him met, it just became like a, oh, we should just go out together because there ain't nobody else coming out to surf, you know, that looks yeah. like us, you know. So we just started showing up together. He was, like, picking me up 5 a.m. We just mobbing to Manhattan Beach, like, no traffic on the 110, you know. It's like pandemic. <laughs> so we're doing that for, like, a couple months. And did I'm you guys gonna, do that? I don't mean to interrupt, but I just got to ask. Did you guys do that because you just had no money and nothing else to do? You said... Forget um, it, I'm gonna go to the beach. Nah, it was just like on some soul. It's like church. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. Not in the church sense. I know you be talking about the church. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about just like. I was about to say this. It's like, like a I was church gonna, for us. I was gonna say, because yeah. I'm like this, I was gonna get up on you and say, man, you ain't from the church. <laughs> 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 uh, no, 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 no. That's why we were going so early. So then that way, you know, we, we saw that day ahead yeah. of us afterwards. You Facts. know what I mean? Like, just trying to beat the traffic. Because, like, me, bro, I'm a producer. That's the other backstory of me. I'm a producer, I'm a DJ, creative director, photographer. Yeah. Like, I'm just a creative all around. So that's yeah. been my thing since I was 16. I'm 25 now. Shoot, before that, 14. So yeah. when I started surfing, that's what, again, that was a part of the problem. So I was like, dang, I'm wasting hella time just coming out here to surf. I got to do this for a reason. So we got to tell the story. So that's why yeah. Black Sand was like, I looked at him like, we got to call this something because it feel like something just even showing up here and just yeah. being like, there ain't nobody else here and we're just here for us. You know yeah. what I mean? Just so, black folks. I just wanted to yeah. form a gang. Yeah. 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 Nigga yeah. just got, yeah. just can't. Let's just become a gang. Yeah. <laughs> just can't wanna, not be a gang. Yeah. That's hey, so look, funny. We going to jump that somebody on put your surfboard down, homie. Yeah. <laughs> that part, that part right. it up. We put niggas But honestly, that's what it is because that's the whole concept of that even. It's like strength in numbers type of thing. You know what I mean? So we start showing up in numbers. It's two of us and then you get another one. Now you got three and you're like, cool. But, you know what I mean? Right. So uh, through doing that, us showing up every day, and again, we're just like ignorantly showing up. Like we don't know anything about surfing other than the fact that we were finding it fun and we wanted to get better. We're just like, doing it our own why way. You, why would you like, guys call it ignorant? I'm why saying you, we're ignorant you... in the sense of like, I don't know anything about this space or yeah, place. Exactly. I'm not coming yeah. here off of a reference, off of like my what? parents showed me, you know right. what I mean? Well, I didn't I grow up near the that. beach. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's ignorance. I think it's just lacking information. That's you know? what ignorance yeah. means. Yeah. You were just yeah. lacking, but no, no, no somebody, but I feel I, you, ignorance though. I feel to you. me is a whole different type of mixture, man, yeah. because somebody can know it, but still ignorantly make the wrong move still because, and they know that they're supposed to move a certain way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I look at ignorance in a different It's got a little bit of a but yeah. you rather do dirty. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I meant ignorant yeah. in the sense of we don't know anything about this. We're yeah. showing up with like fresh eyes, fresh ears, like right. this is our experience. And we didn't really care. You know what I mean? And yeah, we right. didn't care. We are like, so that's why like with Black Sand, <laughs> the whole vision was to like document this going from being a beginner at something, you know, being down right. to just be like, I don't know anything about this, but I know through me showing up enough, yeah. something will come of it, you know what I mean? And it'll right. attract other people, you know, like you attract what you put you out. You feel so. like you, and we'll get back to the Manhattan, because I want to know the Manhattan yeah. story, but That's the story. do you feel like you were trying to 
I don't feel like there was a little bit more that came with that, but we're going to dive into that in just a second, church. Yeah. We only have about 100 meters. Yeah. You know, <laughs> do you feel yeah. like... That's just deep. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like that was like a piece of your... Were you trying to escape something? Maybe. It's, ooh, escape. You know, I mean, for, 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 I mean, I'm going to be real, man. No, to see a black, a black man, not saying there's nothing wrong with it, but to see a black man say, hey, man, you know, F it. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a... A surfboard, man, and I'm gonna get out here every day. You 100%. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Every, every, every sure. morning, it's, you know, it's escapism, yeah, in, in, in a healthy way. I feel like because there's a lot of other things that people could choose to escape to. You know, like we don't even gotta get into get into it. You know what it is? Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Right? Don't you do that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know. I want to know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. We ain't gonna run from that. You get know? into it. I mean, I was escaping for sure. I was homeless you know at the I mean? time. Yeah. There we go. That's what I'm saying. That part. This is what matters, man. You know, is what. What sent you to saying, man, hey, man, I'm about to go ahead and I'm going to go hit the waters, man. You know, yeah. I'm about to, you got to, you're, you're trying to yeah. escape something. So, I'm yeah, for me, the escape was like the industry I was working within, like being a producer and just living in this world of like, oh, I'm sending beats to so-and-so. Like I've had songs, I got multi-platinum records when I was 22 years yeah, old. Yeah, by the way, this you made Broccoli, which is fucking stupid. I didn't stupid. make Broccoli, well, that you, was close. It's I Spy. I mean, not I Spy, I Spy, my bad, I Spy, not Broccoli. <laughs> Isn't this one called Broccoli? Hey, bro. No, 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 oh, no, it's okay, I Spy. Don't mess up the man's interview. Hey, my you're bad. good. You're my good. Bad. <laughs> my, we love Pot Lord. Pot Lord, does he know? No, this the homie my right friend, here. My friend, he just don't know some things Continue sometimes. Though, <laughs> my, bad, my bad. It's I Spy. Yeah, you're right. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm sure, like I said, you know, the people, the viewers. Yeah. You know, when I, when I do these interviews, man, you know, they want to know yeah. about the person, man, and what kind of, you know, inspired them or built them or even sent them the route yeah. that they're going. So 100%. that's why when I ask, like, you know, it had to be something yeah. about surfing that you were running, you, you know what I'm it was something that made exactly. you feel good away from something else. See me, know? I'm just like, uh, like I said, the escape was sort of like the industry I was working in. And I think anybody yeah. feels that with whatever that they're working in, you yeah. know what I mean? It's I like, you that. just get exhausted by whatever it is. So I was just exhausted by that chase feeling, you know what I mean? And like doing things for other people. I'm waiting on other people to hit me back. Oh, I sent so-and-so this beat and that beat and he didn't hit me back. And like, oh, I made this song and it's never coming out. And even when it do come out, you barely get it paid because you're a producer you know what I mean so to me and that's what I meant when I said church earlier was like it was like church in the sense that it was fulfilling my soul like I was like oh wow this just feels good to like something I'm not looking for any particular thing out of it other than becoming better being better and being like dang I, I caught my first wave now I want to I want to I want to do a turn you know what I mean I want to go up and I want to get speed down the line like how do you get speed you know what I mean so oh, yeah. and having a, a, a group of people to do that with is what made it even better to advance. And that's why it was like really a healthy escapism for yeah. me. And I think for anybody from whatever they're doing, like that's the common denominator in surf in general, like, you know, white, black or otherwise, whoever you are, everybody there is escaping something. People just go there cause they're like, I, right. I'm here because I like this. Ain't nobody paying you to go out there yeah. to wake up at 5, 30, 6, 30 in the morning to go surf. So that's why I Thanks. think that it was important for me to try and share that gift and that blessing with other people and that's what the vision was with Black Sam was to like sort of put this out here and tell people to embrace that process of, you know, being a, being a beginner, being new at something and just being like, I'm OK with this part of the process. It don't got to look g glitzy and glamoury like this is just what it is. We going to fall. We're going to be out here busting our ass, looking a fool. And if I cared what these white boys over here next to me thought about that, I wouldn't be here today. You know what I mean? So we were just cool. like we showing up. That's and yeah. that's what it, that's the original thesis is just like showing up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But I was definitely escaping some shit when I was doing that, for sure. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. We appreciate y'all.